Hello everyone, I am back here on YouTube. Please give this video a like even before you watch it because it's brilliant. <laughs> anyway, today I am continuing on from like my previous vlog. This is a very different vlog. I went to M&M World and Lego store. It was amazing and obviously I had to buy some Lego. I couldn't resist. So look, I've got Lego. So we're going to be unboxing and building. So let's go. So this is the Lego that I got. It is the Speed Champion set. Ferrari Scuderia F1. So let's first open up this box. It was actually, wait a second, I also got this little guy here. He's, n wait. He's not got a face or anything, he's just a keyring. And I got this for joining the loyalty card scheme. It was double points as you saw in the video. So yeah, the guy was like, double points, double points. So yeah, I had to. Anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. Actually, how do I open this box? like opening bit so I'm guessing I'm going to have to rip it open oh wow did not expect that first bag of Lego another bag and another bag the little piece to build it on I guess stickers and instructions to help with them and um, I don't know what this is but yeah okay so I'll start with the big pieces okay this bag is very tight And Lego went everywhere, I'll be back. Okay, that was a bit of a disaster. The Lego basically went everywhere and we had to pick it up from all over the room. Anyway, they've opened the first bag and all the pieces are here now. Wait a second. There, you can see the pieces a bit better. And hopefully watch me build it. But yeah, it's a bit of a mess. And I'm not opening the small ones yet. I'm gonna try to see what I have here. Separate the big ones. This is like one of the frames, probably of the car. This is for the other part. Wheels, let's start with wheels. <coughs> so yeah, in the last video, we looked at Lego Star Wars. Um, I've kind of always been a Star Wars fan, but I didn't watch it until like not so long ago. And yeah, that Star Wars Millennium Falcon, I've seen like two of them. One was in the... This is ridiculous. My hands are sticky, so it's taking a bit of a push to get this tire on. There we go. It's on. Anyway, as I was saying, Star Wars, Lego Star Wars. I saw a Millennium Falcon in the Blue Water um, Lego store. It was a lot cheaper than the one I saw in the Central London one. I think that one was massive. was about 650 quid. The one in Blue Water was about 400 quid, but it does look amazing. If I could get one of them and build it, I think that would be like a whole series that would take like forever. And again, putting on a tyre is... There we go. Done another one. So yeah, there's a car, so I'm going to do the easiest parts first. Because why not? But yeah. Um, Lego is very expensive these days and they sell them in sets and they sell them in boxes. Um, in the classic box as well still but it's still it's uh, very expensive uh, get on this third tire I think I need to dry my hands wait a second on my jeans that might help my hands have gone sticky but yeah where's the other tire am I missing the tire I'm missing the tire I'll find that tire later. Anyway, we've got the little guy as well that we're going to build. He's basically the Formula One driver. His head is here. Does he have more than one face? He does it. You can't make him angry. But that's his little head on. 
and he has a tiny little helmet like a little stick let's see if you can see if you can see it better there we go found the missing tire but yeah I'm not sure how long this is going to take if it takes too long then maybe I'll do two videos yeah these tires are probably going to be the hardest thing I hope so here that I need this guy is meant to go in here but he doesn't fit ah I think this is the piece but where does this go now like a U there's two of you and you're meant to go through here wait sorry there we go click one and two click and then you go on the front apparently yep the blue part facing on the outside not the hollow blue part but the more solid well they're both hollow but the solid looking blue part facing on the outside okay so i found a couple of things that i need so this little piece in here goes and goes on the opposite end. It goes here, I believe, like that. And then this little piece will go here. And that's done. Oh, stickers. So these little pieces are going to be like the branding on the car. So they need stickers. There we go. I don't think it can be more perfect than that, to be honest. Let's get a bit of you. Okay, next part is I need this little piece here and then I need to put this piece at the front it's the same on both sides so it doesn't matter this piece goes on the front the little red bit goes on the top into place and then I dropped it. Now what's next? These little bits go behind it. 
right and right. These little bits go behind it. Any direction. With the whole spacing to the side. And then, and then this bit goes on top. Now should go should go. I hope I forgot something. That's what's happened. Um, where did it go? Here, this I forgot this. This was meant to go in, and I forgot it. So yeah, let's put this part in. goes in sideways with the this pointy bit facing outwards so it goes like this and like this and then these advertisement boards I can put it there that's the right way around will go on these blue parts just click in place there we go so that'll be like the side of the car. That'll be the side of the car. And then the side of the car. And then this bit will go here. On the bottom. Right. Right. It will attach on the bottom of here. Like that like that. So that's what we have so far. And hopefully we can carry on building this in the next episode because this is not a one video job. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye bye.